feel like the most important thing is you have to absolutely 100% love it because the people that I know that haven't sustained it, I don't know if they loved it. I think they really liked it. But it's hard. It's really, um, it's hard to have a career in music. It's, um, there's not a lot of stability, um, no matter what level you're at, right? Like I think sometimes people think um, you win the GFA and everything's gonna be easy. Dude, I, I, I work really hard, right? And if you don't win the GFA, um, uh, it's still really hard, right? And people are successful with competition wins, without competition wins, but what's at the, I think, the common denominator for everybody who's successful is they're working really hard. Working really hard doesn't guarantee that you're gonna be successful. And what is your definition of success? Is it, you know, earning a certain income? Is it having a certain kind of job? And I think ultimately you have to know the things that are most important to you and just set your sights and be open to these other things, but set your sights. When I um, was um, doing my, like my graduate work, I was trying to earn money to pay for the rent and uh, you know, kind of figure it out while practicing six to eight hours a day. And I was playing wedding gigs. And what I realized very quickly, there are some people who make a living doing wedding gigs, and I think they enjoy the social aspect. What I realized very quickly is I would rather work at McDonald's than play wedding gigs. I hate them. Um, I really, really dislike wedding gigs. So I got out of that as quickly as possible. What I discovered was I loved teaching. And even though you make a better hourly wage, if you play more gigs, I would much rather teach. You enjoy getting to know the person. Are they a young person? Are they, you know, kind of close to your age? Are they, you know, ahead of you in life? Um, you learn things from these different people. And I'm always inspired by the adult hobbyists who have a career doing X, Y, and Z and manage to, you know, go to work 50 hours a week and then come home and still practice the guitar an hour every day. What? Like, how do they do that? I, I don't know how they do it. You kind of figure out what you do and don't want to do, and then you set yourself up for success in that. And so I've, I think, you know, some of, obviously a GFA win helps with certain opportunities, but even before I won the GFA, I was, you know, having lots of teaching jobs in the area. I was starting to reach out and starting to play concerts in the Western United States um, because Scott Tennant had given me some advice. He said the first thing you have to do when trying to make a career is become really well known in your town. So I played every free concert I could play in LA. Um, and then I started playing ones that would pay me $100. Woo! <laughs> and then, you know, you start, okay, Las Vegas called, okay, Phoenix. And then you get in your car and you drive. And uh, maybe you make $500 for that gig. But it's what I would say in terms of how does someone have longevity. I think it, you just have to, you have to love it. You have to know what specifically about it you love. I was doing all those things in music, but realized that this 50% of those things I hate, right? So I have, to, I have to find these things and then I have to put myself into it and I have to research and I have to spend the time to, if I want a, a teaching job, I don't wait for the phone to ring. I call 30 places and 25 of them never call me back, right? And then a couple say, uh, not, not right now, and then you get one job, right? And um, that's how most of my opportunities have come is I went and got them, I would say.